Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of Blazing Beards. So today we're going to continue our series on Battles of the Beard Companies. Today we are going to rate two of my favorite beard companies on the following criteria. Value, performance, scent, the product line, the availability of products, the ingredients in the products, how cool is the company, and the customer service aspect of the company. So, let's get started. The two companies I've chosen for today's beard battles is on my right, Honest Amish, and on my left, Live Bearded. So let's get started. So I'm going to start with Live Bearded today. Um, I've already done a review on Honest Amish. Um, Live Bearded um, is also one of my favorite companies to buy products from. Their scents are amazing. Their products are really good for your beard. So today I'm going to be showing you their beard butter and their beard oil. Um, so Wood Bearded's beard butter is a little different than any other beard butters I've seen. It has no waxes in it um, and it is combined with shea butter, coconut oil, jojoba oil, avocado oil, almond oil, grapeseed oil, and essential oils for fragrance. Now the fragrance of the uh, beard butter that I got from them is called The Legend. It's a sandalwood vanilla scent and it's absolutely fantastic. Um, their butter, I'll show you what it looks like. It's, um, it's very light in color and it, it's almost like it's whipped. It's a huge, if you compare this jar to other four ounce jars that I have, um, it's like twice the size. So all I can think of is they actually whip the butter in here. Because when you look at it and you look at the consistency of it, I don't know if you can see it, I'll try to show it to you. It kind of breaks up. It's a little bit, uh, it kind of looks a little chalky. Um, but when you, once you rub it in your hands, it melts down instantly to a very nice creamy, creamy butter. I'll show you. Put some a little bit on my hands and just rub it together and instantly it becomes you know a nice you know smooth butter it's not uh, it's not sticky or anything but it does give pretty good hold to your beard um, I think what um, gives it the hold even though it doesn't have any wax in it is the coconut oil I think you know when it liquefies you know it's at uh, it liquefies at uh, you know room temperature basically and, um, or solidifies, sorry, at room temperature and liquefies, you know, at like 85 degrees or so. So you rub it in your hands, it liquefies, you put it in your beard, and then it goes back to room temperature and kind of stiffens up a little bit and gives your beard some hold. So I think it's, um, it's a pretty cool product, and like I said, good ingredients in it, and their beard oil has basically the same ingredients except no um, shea butter or coconut oil. So their beard oil has in it, no, no beards are cool with glasses. Um, anyway, it has argan oil, jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, and essential oils for fragrance. So basically only three oils, um, but they're good oils, and they're in there for the fragrance. Um, and this stuff smells amazing. Uh, if you like the smell of sandalwood, and you like the smell, smell of vanilla, you're gonna love this oil. Definitely more on the sandalwood side, uh, but you can definitely smell the vanilla as well. So that's their product. In terms of other products they have in their product line, uh, why don't I just go through them in, in order. So in terms of value, Live Bearded is not a cheap uh, beard products company. It is, I wouldn't say it's on the super high end like uh, someone like Beard Brand would be, but it's not as low priced as, uh, you know, Honest Amish products. So um, in terms of, you know, their beard butter, so for this four ounce jar, it's 20 bucks. So it's not bad for four ounces, you know. Um, most, of, most other beard bomb companies, you'll get like a two ounce tin for 20 bucks. So, you know, it's good value on their beard butter. In terms of their beard oil, um, their beard oil runs $17 on their website, um, for, and, but you only get about a one ounce bottle. So that's a little bit on the expensive side, uh, at least for me. But really good stuff, smells great, good ingredients, nothing 
Nothing though that would justify, I think, you know, $17 for one ounce, but it's good stuff. And they do have several bundles on their, on their site. So we can get a wash, a beard butter, and an oil. And it basically, compared to the price of all three of them, separately, you'd save about, you know, seven bucks if you bought all three of them. So some pretty good deals in terms of when you go bundling with, uh, you know, the, um, with bearded products. Um, they also have, um, they have a beard wash that I mentioned, they have combs, they have vitamins. Now, I don't like um, when companies sell vitamins, you know, beard growth vitamins. I think it's a sham. Um, so that's, that's definitely a negative, in my opinion, for with bearded. Um, you know, if you, if you have a healthy diet, you eat, you know, proteins and you eat, you know, leafy vegetables and uh, you get, you know, a decent amount of exercise on a regular basis, um, you're not going to need any beard vitamins to make your beard grow. It's basically, it's basically genetics, um, you know, and your beard actually grows a little better. You know, as you start aging, you know, your beard will come in a little thicker. So um, I think it's kind of a scam when companies sell beard vitamins for growth. And so just watch out for that. Stay away from it. You know, if you want to take some supplements, uh, just take a normal, you know, one a day vitamin. Um, or you know maybe a, a biotin pill, but I don't think those really do anything either because your body only needs you know a couple grams of um, or micrograms of biotin a day, and then they sell you know these these pills that are 10,000 micrograms of biotin. You know that's enough for a year. You know and you're taking it every day, so you know it's probably not good for your liver, um, and it's doubtful whether it actually does anything for your beard growth or hair growth. So just be careful of uh, people that push vitamins. I, I don't like it myself. Um, but enough of that. Um, they sell wipes, which I think is bizarre. Uh, wipes, you know, so when you go out to a restaurant, you know, those little wet wipes that you have when you, when you, you know, want to clean up your face after you ate. Um, they basically sell those with some, you know, beard oil ingredients in it, which I think is another sham. Just use your napkin. Um, so I don't like those two things about live bearded. Um, they have a um, beard wash, um, they have um, a travel bag, they have a brush, um, and like I said before, they have some bundles. So, but aside from the things that I don't like about some of the products that they sell that I think are just a sham, the products that I bought from them, the beard butter and their beard oil, fantastic, I really like them. In terms of availability, uh, with bearded, um, they don't have a lot of availability other than, you know, they sell on Amazon and they sell on their website. Uh, but you won't find Live Bearded in stores. So in terms of availability, they're not um, as much as some others, but just as many as, as some of the others. You know, most of the beard oil companies or beard products companies only have products, you know, online on either their store or on Amazon. Um, and Live Bearded is no different. Um, so, um, let's move on to, well, let's, let's go ahead in terms of, so I, I've already told you about the ingredients, good ingredients, um, cool factor. Now, with Bearded is one of the cooler beard companies out there in terms of they have, you know, YouTube videos that they're posting constantly, they have, you know, a video blog, um, they have, um, all sorts of beard information on how to grow your beard, how to take care of your beard. On, on their website and on YouTube videos. And um, their customer service um, is one of the big factors that uh, they use to sell their product. Basically, every single one of Live Bearded's products has a lifetime guarantee. So if you buy it, you use it for a while, and you say, hey, you know what? I'm just sick of the smell. I don't really like it. I want to change it for something else. They'll do it. You know, they're, they're just uh, basically 100% customer service focused. Um, they're really helpful, you know, you can email them and say, hey, I got this question about my beard, and they'll email you right back with an answer. Um, so, you know, from that standpoint, I don't think there's another company out there except for maybe Beard Brand um, that actually has that level of customer service where they just 100% support all their customers. So that's a huge plus for a little beard. Um, so let's move on to Honest Amish. So Honest Amish, as I said in my prior video, you know, it's a value brand. Um, but wow, what a value and what a great product they have. Um, like I said before, it is one of my favorite products. Um, it's my go-back-to product. 
Um, if I just don't know what to put on in the morning, I, I reach for the Honest Amish if I don't have any specific mood. Um, but fantastic products. In terms of the value of their products, okay, so Honest Amish for $13 you get a two ounce bottle of their beard oil and compared to, um, you know, $17 for a one ounce of with bearded. So you get much more bang for your buck. In terms of the ingredients in the Honest Amish oil, let me just read this to you. So the ingredients in the Honest Amish oil are avocado oil, virgin pumpkin seed oil, sweet almond oil, apricot kernel oil, golden jojoba oil, virgin argan oil, and kukwai oil. So in terms of oils, you know, they got seven different kinds of oils in there, all very good oils that um, you've probably seen, uh, you know, different reviews on what oils do what for you, but those are all some of the really good ones. And they're not cheap oils either. They're more on the higher end um, oils that you'd see in higher end products. So Honest Amish, fantastic oil. The scent of Honest Amish, I've told you before um, on my other video, is it is amazing. Um, it's kind of got a fennel licorice smell to it or under undertone to it. And um, I'm not sure what else is in there. So you, you're just going to have to try it. But it is a fantastic scent. I love it. It's kind of woodsy, uh, woodsy and licorice I'd say. Um, and they're basically two different scents. Their balm or their wax and their oil and their normal balm has that scent. And then their heavy duty balm, it seems like it's the same scent except with a hint of peppermint to it as well. So really, really nice scents. I love their scents. They last for, you know, probably about, you know, at, at the strong level, they probably last for about an hour. Um, but you can smell them all day, you know, you know, if you, you know, just give a little sniff, you can, you, you can definitely smell that it's still there. So, um, anyway, I love the Honest Amish in terms of their value. Um, you know, a two ounce tin of their bomb um, is $12 versus, you know, the two ounce or four ounce of um, beard butter from with Bearded is $20. So, probably pretty close to the same um, price. Uh, with Beard, by the way, doesn't have uh, Beard Balm. They only have, carry the Beard Butter. Um, then, you know, Honest Amish has, you know, several different um, bombs. They have their normal bomb. They have their heavy-duty bomb. They have their bomb with extra grit. Um, they also have a Beard Soap. They don't have a shampoo, but it's a, a, it's a bar form that you can use to wash your beard and your body. Um, I think I've said this on my other video as well, is their soap, I don't really like to use as much on my beard. I like to use it on my body. It smells awesome, especially with all the steam in the shower and everything. But it seems to leave like a little um, residue on my beard that, you know, I can feel it. It doesn't make it feel, um, you know, slick. Like when you, when you use a conditioner, you know, you can run your fingers through your beard. It's real slick. My beard doesn't get that way when I use the Honest Dommer soap. <clears throat> um, they also have a premium oil um, that's $19 versus, you know, their normal oil is $13. It's just different oils that they use in it. Um, they use a couple more ex expensive, you know, uh, carrier oils. Um, they had some beard wax, which I have here, and it's a two ounce tin. It's $13, so it's a good deal for two ounces of beard wax. Um, now, if you compare that, you know, this is basically, it's the same thing as a mustache wax, except it's in a tin. So a little beard, it has a mustache wax where you get 0.15 ounces for 10 bucks. And these guys, for 13 bucks, you get two full ounces. So that, that, that's what, um, it's like 12, 15 times the amount of wax for that amount of money. So um, definitely a way better value with Honest Amish. Um, in terms of, um, so that's the ingredients in there. Oh, their, their beard balm has basically, it's made, it doesn't have any beeswax in their balm either. It has shea, cocoa butter, aloe, and cocoa butter in addition to all the ingredients in their beard oil. So just, you know, fantastic product. Um, I have here their heavy duty balm. They also have a um, regular balm and they have an extra grit balm. So um, 
when you use this stuff, it, it comes out really smooth. It's really nice consistency, very buttery. Um, it does have, I would say, a little more hold to it than the Live Bearded, um, you know, Beard Butter. Uh, I don't know why that is because it doesn't have beeswax in it either. Now, obviously, their wax does have the beeswax in it, so basically the same ingredients except they've added beeswax to it, and that's what you know, gives it a really firm hold. So, um, you know, good stuff, both of them. So, um, in terms of you know availability, um, so you can get Honest Amish on Amazon. You can get it at their own website. But the cool thing with Honest Amish is they're in Walmart. So everybody has a Walmart close by. You can go, you can pick up Honest Amish at Walmart. So in terms of you know availability and convenience, I would give that one to Honest Amish. Um, in terms of the cool factor, you know, other than the Honest Amish, you know, just promotes itself based on, you know, the Amish people have had beards forever. They know what they're doing. Um, they use all natural ingredients. You know, that's pretty cool. But in terms of the way I define the cool factor and interaction with the customer, do they help you with your beard growth journey? Do they write articles on, you know, how to take care of your beard, how to shape your beard, how to condition your beard? Um, they don't do any of that. So they basically have their website. You can buy their products. They have a Facebook page. Um, that has limited stuff. It's mostly advertising for their product. Um, they don't have any blogs on taking care of your beard. They don't have any videos like on YouTube other than reviews that people do, but nothing specifically by people in the company. Um, so from, in terms of cool factor, Live Bearded, you know, blows them out of the water. You know, much, much cooler, um, you know, company in terms of customer interaction. Um, in terms of customer service, um, Sorry to say that Honest Amish, Honest Amish has really no customer service to speak of. Um, I've never had a problem with them where I've had to send something back. But if you go on their website and you try to contact, you know, how do I contact Honest Amish? And, you know, they have a little button that says contact us and they basically give you a snail mail address. So, um, you know, they're not real interested in hearing from you is, is what I take. Um, you know, they don't want to hear any complaints, so, or maybe they just figured they're not going to get any because their products are so awesome. But, um, yeah, that was a little disappointing to me that there's not even an email or text or a customer service chat box or, um, you know, any way to get a hold of them other than through snail mail. You know, there's no phone number, um, etc. So I was disappointed with that. So um, that's it. That's both, both products. Um, so... I will put together the grading of these products. I will post it and you will know which one wins. Um, but right now I will just tell you from a value standpoint, Honest Amish is clearly the winner. From a performance standpoint, it's a really tough call. Um, if you want a little more hold and a little more um, products that can do different things for your beards, I think Honest Amish is the product there. In terms of scent, now that's really subjective to the individual, I think. I love them both, so I would call that a tie between these two companies. Um, Honest Amish is very unique. You know, wood beard is sandalwood, and I love the taste or the smell of sandalwood, so, um, you know, I don't think there's anything unusual here. I wouldn't know how to duplicate <laughs> this smell if I wanted to make it myself. But I would say I would grade them equally, at least in my opinion. Um, in terms of product line, they both have pretty full product lines. Um, I'd give them a tie on that as well. They both have a lot of different products. Um, you know, they both have, um, you know, basically anything you can want. Um, Honest Amish doesn't have a conditioner, but I don't think Wood Bearded does either. Um, you know, they have the shampoo and then their, their other products. Um, in terms of availability, definitely Honest Amish with the selling through Walmart. Um, you know, fantastic. Uh, ingredients. In terms of, you know, they both have good ingredients in them that are good for your beard, but Honest Amish has a little more higher end, more premium ingredients than the Live Bearded does, so I would get the ingredients to Honest Amish. Cool factor, no doubt about it, Live Bearded um, has that, and customer service, no doubt about it, Live Bearded. So I'm going to put it together, and then I will announce the winner at the end of the video. So be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. I've tallied all the numbers. Um, you saw them on the screen a couple seconds ago. And um, 
Honest Amish is our winner. So, that's not to say Woodbeard's a bad product. Woodbeard is a fantastic product. Great company. Um, if you want to learn about taking care of your beard and you want fantastic second-to-none customer service and those things are important to you, you're going to want to go with Woodbeard and buy products from them. If you just want product in terms of value and performance, um, great scent, um, premium ingredients in them, all natural, then you're going to go with Honest Amish. But for me, when I compared apples to apples, everything down the line, all the different categories, I think I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight categories. We had with bearded one four, um, or with bearded one two, tied in two, and then Honest Amish won four categories and tied in two categories. So from the just playing from the numbers, Honest Amish is the winners. So guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, if you liked this video, please like it, subscribe to my channel, and um, I will see you another time. But until then, grow yourself a blazing beard.